hand is right there. See, it's the blue streak, blue, okay. blue streak, and it's got numbers on it. Gotcha. All right, this is the current or the core. Okay, every little single fiber mm -hmm. in this rope, no matter how tiny it is, is supposed to be the full length of this rope. If it's 600 feet long, every little single filament is 600 feet long. Okay. That's required by NFPA 1983. This provides 75% of the strength of the rope. This outer mantle part, mm -hmm. or the woven outer sheathing, provides 25% of the rated strength of the rope. You can rub through this out and the center still has strength. Mm -hmm. Okay, unlike webbing. Webbing, when you cut it, and anywhere on it, it starts immediately destroying the whole piece of webbing. So, what you do, these things have a 10 year shelf life, that's so all they've got. Okay, other than that, they should be inspected every time before you use them, and at least monthly, even if you're not using them. See, there's your blue identifier strand. That's manufacturer specific. Okay. And that's also said, like on rigging and things mm -hmm. like that, if you take like a rigging strap or something, they say if you see red, you're dead. In other words, what that means is if you rub through the outer sheath and you see a red strand anywhere in this white that's on the inside, then you see it's a visual indicator that strap is damaged to take it out of service. Because they say if you see red, you're dead. But these are all manufacturer specific, so in this case, it's blue. Okay. On another rope, it might be a different color. All right, so we pull here. Production, this is fourth production. Let's see if I can get it pull out without breaking. Come on, oh man, let's see if I can get this one out. I wanna see the date. See, this is certified Blue Water Series, Underwriter Laboratories. You can see it right there on the on the thing. Mm -hmm. Underwriter Laboratories, fourth, fourth production. Let's see if we can get this thing, come on. I'm trying to get a date. What I want to see is a date. I want to see if this rope is good. So get this thing to pull out without breaking. But you see how good this rope looks? Mm -hmm. It's over 10 years old, so we can't use it, if, if that's the case. Let's come down here to your bottom rung. Take your prosit cord. I'm going to have to retie this. Something else. Look here real quick. See how short that is? Mm -hmm. That's not right. Not going to work. That's not right. See how this one is? That one's right. See that? This, this one's good, this one's not, okay? That's the difference in good and bad right there. Okay. All right, so we need to retie that one, we, which we will. All right, okay. so we'll take this one here, we'll just do it in a loop around the bottom of the rung on the, on the ladder. We'll offset the knot right there, okay? Then we're just gonna come here, we're gonna grab this, we're gonna go one, two, three and then we're going to pull one side so that we dress it right okay just like that so it should look just like this three times three times yes sir. three times all right didn't find I them didn't see him, okay they must not have put them in there then all you're going to do is you're going to clip this to this and you're going to lock it okay now what you're going to do next is you're going to pull down on this like this so you're going to get somebody up here to pull all right, now slide this up, Captain. Grab that slide. I'm going to slide just right up to the, like this right here. Now, this little stuff right here, that stuff bites tight. That's okay. a 7 millimeter. That's good stuff. Yeah, it's tight. You can't hardly move. Yep. So, there you go. Now, you set the bag of rope over the side. Now, this rope, it ain't banjo tight because you don't really want it banjo tight because you want it. If the person runs their hand up this way or that way, you want it to be able to go, right? Okay. Now you're going to take video, man. Here, Get out of my way. And you're going to give, you're going to have these two here for your instructors if you need them. Okay, I'm going to go up and get somebody. You got it. Okay. Then you got this one here. See, this one's tied correctly. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two. All right. This. Press that out. Two. Just like that. Okay. All right. So all you do is clip in. Make sure they're locked. So the instructor's responsibility is to make sure that they lock the carabiner. And this is what we tell of our guys. Gate check. Squeeze the beaner. Reach up with your hand. Squeeze it. Because if I run this all the way back and think I got it locked, and I squeeze it, well, it's obviously not. So all the way to the right, give it a squeeze. All right? I got this stuff. All right. So when I go to climb, all right, it's just this simple right here. When I climb, mm -hmm. 
This is all I got to do. See how I got my hand right here? That's it. Grab it just like that. Yeah, hands are still on the ladder. It's okay. no different than I normally climb. Now, if I fall, it's got me. Right there, just like that. See? It's going, it's going to bite. It's going to bite mm -hmm. the rope. And you hang from right there. I'm hanging mm -hmm. from right here. Now, I do whatever. I recover. I've got to take the weight off of that. I may have to, you know, mess with this just a little bit to get loose. Now, I'm coming down. I'm going to put my hand above the process now. Chief, on that one there, that's the one you wrapped twice, right? Yes, sir. We're gonna wrap that one twice. Okay. Oh, three. That one's right. Yeah. Right. That, 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 that one down is the bottom of the three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you first started, it's three. What's that? Actually slides here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. I mean, it's not. Now, now, watch this though. I bit it. Now it ain't wanting to slide. So if someone goes, man, it's saying you slide. Tell them, say, roll the barrel, mm -hmm. the locking loop, just like that, and say, well, yeah, but if I get it loose, it won't catch. No, watch. Still catches. And do that part again, too. Right here. If this thing locks, okay, it's locked. Now it ain't gonna want to slide. Okay. What you do is you take your thumb, okay. you roll the barrel. Okay. Now it's loose. Okay. Now you loosened it, you say, well, will it catch now? Just that quick, call. Okay. See, it's good. It's not going anywhere. And all I gotta do is stand up, roll the barrel, okay. just like that. He said we can run two students at a time if you want. No. Two. And then when you get to there, leave one side stationary and pull the other side. That way it keeps this knot away from the carabiner so you don't have to worry about dealing with it. Because if you don't, the only way you'll untie this knot is to separate the two halves. Okay. If you separate the two halves, it'll slip on it. If you don't, the harder you pull on it, the tighter it gets. It will not slip. Make sense? So you can just leave this one staged down here over to the side. That if you have a problem, you're halfway up. All I got, I'm standing here at the base. I'm the instructor. I've got a harness on standing here. All I got to do is clip, take off. Next, he steps up to the to the bottom of the ladder. You take the carabiner, open the gate, go from the top down, flip the carabiner, lock the carabiner, give it a squeeze for a gate check. Gate check. That way, he hears you say gate check. Gate check. Are you ready? Ready. Take the Prusik with you as you climb. Then as he climbs, just go a little ways up. See how he's pushing? All right, stop. Now he's gonna record you coming down to show the technique for coming down. Place your hand on top of the Prusik. As you come down, you keep your hands on the rungs just like you normally do, sliding the Prusik up and down. As he's climbing, if anything were to happen and he were to fall, all right, stop. All right, step back down without bringing the proceeds. All right, now lean back. See, it's got him. He's got it. Now, what he's going to have to do is he's going to have to, you're going to have to go up at that point, and you're going to have to assist him. You're going to go up, and you're going to assist him back into the ladder, and you're going to go up. Step around him, make sure he's okay, hold on the ladder, release the brushes. When he says he's okay, you take the take the brushes. Alright, we're coming down. Ready? Step. 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 And so on. All the way back down. That's the